because today we're going to talk about something I know you all have been waiting for. And I'm going to be talking about this topic of creating digital products and online courses if you sell services of any kind. And specifically, if you are doing B2B services, maybe you're a social media manager, maybe you're a digital marketer, maybe you are a business coach, maybe you help people as a virtual assistant, maybe you're an OBM, we are going to talk about this topic because the honest truth is that services can be very tough sometimes when you're doing one-to-one -one services. And so I'm going to be sharing between today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, I'm going to be going live every day on my Facebook page to talk about how to take what you're doing for clients and package it up into an online course, a group coaching program, a digital product. And I'm also going to talk about creating VIP days and consulting. So I have a lot to share with you. All right. So if you're watching, do me a favor. If you can just give me a smiley face or an emoji in the comments so that more people can see this video, I would really appreciate it. And I'm going to actually let everybody know to come on here and join us live right now. <laughs> Make sure I have the right link. All right, I just want to hit uh, send. So now we'll have some more people joining us. And I'm also going to share this in our group, share this to our Facebook group the profit makers so i'm excited and then if you're watching me do me a favor comment in below have you um decided to do co are, you, are you thinking about selling courses digital products um in your business because i want to talk to you about it also want to let you know if you haven't signed up for this training series there's a link right by the video where you can sign up and register this way you get notified when i go live and i'm going to go ahead and share this right now Okay, so here's the honest truth. We're going to talk about the real, real deal. If you follow people on social media, let's say you, let's say, you know, a lot of you watching are social media managers, some of you are digital marketers, some of you do coaching, consulting, and you spend time on social media and you see a lot of people online who have big audiences and followers. And guess what they're selling? They're selling online courses, they're selling group coaching. They're selling masterminds, okay? Because these are scalable offers where you can help hundreds of people if you wanna help hundreds of people or if you wanna have a small group coaching program of 10 people, you can absolutely make six figures with a small group. Now, if you do the math, right? The reason why I really like this business model is because it's just math, right? If I'm helping, let's say I have an online course and my online course costs $2,000. I just need 50 people a year to enroll in that online course so that I can make $100,000, right? I just need to get 50 people. If I have a mastermind, maybe a group coaching program, and it's more high touch, there's more like, you know, one-to-one, -one, but there's also group calls. Maybe you have a retreat. Like I have a mastermind and we just had a retreat um, last year. We had an in-person retreat. Uh, and I have a mastermind called Abundant CEO where we get women who are in the digital marketing uh, industry together and we have masterminding, we have group coaching, we have guest speakers who come in and we, we actually meet in person for two days and we have a CEO retreat. And what I do in that mastermind is I help them package up their offers and create systems in their business to leverage so that they can stop doing so much work every single month. Because if you're providing services, let me know in the chat. If you are providing services, done for you services is a lot of work. So what I did in my business is when I first started my business, I was just doing digital marketing and social media management. And I was doing one-on-one -on -one services. It was very time consuming because I had a lot of clients. So I did outsource some of the work. I hired a virtual assistant. I hired a graphic designer. But this is where I hit a bottleneck because what happens is that sometimes when you have an agency business model, and let's say you have five, six clients, and one of those clients pays you a lot of money. And let's say that client decides not to work with you again, or maybe something happens that you don't really like them and you want to fire them. Sometimes it can go, it can give you like a blow in your revenue stream. All right. So what I that actually happened to me. I had a client that was really, really difficult. And this client was just a pain in the A, really. I was like, you know, I don't want to work with you with them anymore. So I got rid of them, but then the problem was I had team members I had to pay every single month. So I decided to fire the client, but then I lost my revenue. And that is the dilemma, okay? Because when you do that, now it's like, okay, you have to scramble to find additional clients. 
So what I decided to do was I was like, I never want this to happen again. I never want to have my agency, my team, you know, worry about how I'm going to, I didn't want to have to worry about how I'm going to pay them. So I created and I launched a membership site and I launched a digital, I launched digital products. I launched multiple courses over the past five years. I've sold multiple courses, digital products, mini workshop, mini workshops, um, templates, trainings, a lot of different things. I've sold group coaching. I have a mastermind. And the reason why I added this to my business was because I wanted to have recurring monthly revenue coming in the business every single month. So let's say, for instance, let me give me an example. When I launched my membership site, the first digital product I created was a monthly membership site. And I was it was like about $50 a month. And, and then I started to sell courses on top of that. So what, when I did that, I was able to add an extra $7,000 to $10,000 in recurring monthly revenue to my business, hitting my bank account every single month. So this way, I could be a lot more pickier with the types of clients that I wanted to go after. I didn't have to go and just take anybody, any type of client, because I just wanted to make money. Because that is what happens to people sometimes when it comes, when you know, you're offering services, you can feel like, oh my gosh, I have to get a client because I just have to, I got to make sure, you know, you just come, you, you can become desperate is the honest truth. So um, those of you watching, do me a favor, comment below in the chat. Give me a smiley face. Do me a favor. I would love you to just do one thing if you're watching this live. Give me an emoji, a smiley, a thumbs up, a dot. Just say anything in the chat so that more people can see the video. <laughs> can you do me a favor if you're watching? All right, do that for me, please. Por favor. <laughs> Por favor. Okay, we have Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Thank you so much for doing that. All right. Hey, Raina. Hey, Rebecca. <laughs> Thanks so much. Okay, Stephanie. Hey, Mona. Okay, so do me a favor. Like I said, if you're watching, you're just joining, just uh, like this uh, video and then comment uh, just so more people can see this uh, as we're going through the material today. So this is day one in a series of videos I'm going to do for people who are offering services in their business, and maybe you are sick and tired of working 70 hours a week. Let me know in the chat, if you already have clients, do you find like you're working around the clock? Because that's what happened to me when I first started my service-based business, my social media business. I was working around the clock and I was making money. I was doing it full time, but I was constantly working. It was only after I added group coaching, a course, memberships, and digital products that I was able to add more consistency to my business and I was able to actually work less hours, okay? So even now, I don't really work more than 20 hours a week. There are some weeks or months where I barely work, okay? I can give you an example. In August of last year, I took a trip to New York to visit my family. So like the whole month, I really wasn't working. I probably worked about five hours that whole month because I just took a, I took like, I think I did like three sales calls and each sales call was like 30 minutes. I was still able to make $20,000, okay? Because I have online courses, I have a mastermind, I have group coaching, I have all these recurring revenue streams coming in my business. And I also do consulting, I do one-to-one -one consulting. So that's how I was able to do that because, so basically what I'm telling you, if you're offering services, you are going to want to add a digital product or a group coaching program to your business so that you are not working around the clock. Okay, Rebecca said I'm in the process of wanting to create a digital course and a mentorship. Okay, yeah, and the thing about it is like, if you have clients and you're looking for clients, you become desperate because you, you're like, I'm gonna take any client, you know, cause I just wanna make money. Whereas if you have, let's say you have $5,000 coming from a membership program or mentorship, you can have a mentorship program as well. And you're going, you know, you do like group coaching calls once a week, you have 50 people in the program, maybe they're paying you, I don't know, I'm just making it up. They're paying you, let's just say you charge $97 a month and you have like 50 people, at least charge $100 a month. That's $5,000 in recurring revenue in your business, okay? $5,000 a month hitting your bank account every single month, and then you can scale that to $8,000 and $10,000. That's an extra $100,000 revenue stream. And you don't have to do a bunch of work. You create one thing. You create one training. You create one template. You create maybe five different trainings. Maybe your, your course has five lessons in it, right? 
And you do that one time and you keep selling it over and over again, over and over and over again. Okay. Now, of course, you can update it throughout the year, but it's not a lot of work. So this is what I'm talking about. So let me tell you right now, if you want to sell online courses in addition to what you're doing now in your business, maybe you're doing services, comment below in the comments and say, hey, I want to start. Tell me what you want to start. Do you want to do group coaching? Do you want to do a mentorship program? Do you want to sell uh, digital products? Let me know in the chat. All right. So this training that I'm going to be doing is going to go from today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. I'm going to go live and I'm going to talk about for those of you who already have clients. So this training is more for people who have clients because I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't have clients, you cannot create an online course. You can't create a digital product. This is more advanced what I'm going to talk about because you need to be able to work one-to-one -one with someone to know how to create a digital product or an online course. So I know, just want to let you know, disclaimer, what the all this advice that I'm going to give you um, between today and tomorrow and Wednesday is only for people who have clients. If you're completely brand new to this, I have other trainings I can um, send you. So make sure you send me a private message after this and I'll send it over to you. But this is specifically for those of you who already have clients, you already have experience, you know how to you know, work with one-to-one -one clients, because then because you have experience working with people, you can package what you know into an online course. All right, good. Anybody else want to see? Um, okay, okay, okay. I see a few people. Anybody here already have clients? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. This is the presentation today. So today I'm going to be talking about how to create scalable offers in your business if you are a service provider, specifically if you are a done-for-you service provider. I'm going to show you how to add a six-figure revenue stream into your service-based business. All right, so a little bit about me. I, my name is Alma Bradford. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I created a boutique agency helping small businesses with social media, funnels, and content marketing. I, I've been in business for over 10 years, okay? I've been doing this for a while. So what I decided to do was in like in 2000, around 2018, I launched an online membership and online courses. And that allowed me to add a, an additional six-figure revenue stream to my business, Okay. And it allowed me to work with less clients at higher price points because I didn't have to scramble for clients every month because I had this revenue stream coming in, making $10,000 and higher per month, okay? So I'm going to go through this and I'm going to share with you how you could do the same thing. I also want to let you know, we're going to have a day two training where I'm going to go into way more detail, okay? We're going to go into more. Um, and this is really for those of you who are, like I said, you if you already have services, if you're a coach or consultant and you want to learn how to package that up. So now I teach other people how to grow a profitable, be, profitable B2B service-based business. Um, so if you're a business coach, a virtual assistant, social media, digital, mar ma digital marketer, a PR consultant, a brand designer, a web designer, anybody who helps other businesses as your service, like your, your customers or other business owners, then what I'm going to talk about during this series is going to be exactly for you. So you definitely want to stay here and keep watching because it's going to, this is really going to help you grow your business. Okay. So like I said, I have a multiple six figure business selling courses, consulting VIP days. I have a mastermind. I have group coaching. This was actually a picture from our last mastermind that I had. We had in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're planning to have another one for the, the women that are in my mastermind program, okay? So like I said, I help people with do various coaching programs scale. Now, like I said, if you're watching this, this, this video is for those people who are social media managers, digital marketers, virtual assistants, online business managers, or OBMs, graphic designers, web designers, PR consultants, brand strategists, or anybody working in B2B services, okay? This is for you. If you're not in these, this like category right here, then this, you know, I don't really help people outside. I just help people in the B2B space. Okay. All right. So I want to tell you a big problem. I see a lot of B2B service providers struggle with is pretty much when you start doing done for you services or one-to-one -one, uh, services, you're going to get stuck in like a time trap. Okay, so you're going to be hitting a capacity as far as how many clients you could possibly work with. And service providers who offer done for you services will find themselves at some point as you get booked out with clients or if you're, you are booked out with clients, 
working around the clock doing client work 24 seven. And done for you services are very time intensive, you know, creating captions and graphics or creating Facebook ads or helping your clients build a website, doing graphic design, creating a logo. Those are things that are very time intensive. And also clients make revision, uh, revision requests, right? So I don't know if you ever experienced this. I have experiences myself, but clients will say, oh, you know, can you change this? Can you change the graphic? Can you change this button so that it's yellow and not red? And it's just, they just go back and forth with like different requests, okay? So what happens is because that requires more of your time and you're doing this by, if, if you are doing this by yourself or even if you have an agency, okay? You feel, you may feel like you don't really have a much of a life because you don't have the right systems and structures in your business. You don't have the right type of business model that will allow you to work less money, but still make more money. I mean, sorry, that will allow you to work less hours, but still make more. That's what I meant to say. Because when you do done for you services, it's great. And you should definitely keep that in your business. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm just saying that it's a good idea to add in additional revenue streams that don't require so much energy from you and so much work. Okay, so just a little bit about me. I used to work long hours as a social media manager when I first started. My revenue was very inconsistent when I first started my business. I didn't have much free time to do things I enjoyed because I was always working with clients. I became stressed out and overwhelmed trying to care for my family and also my clients. And I realized that I started doing some research and I found out about the world of online courses and digital products. And that oh, this is like in 2000 and like, <clears throat> this is like in 2016, I created, I think I was listening to like a podcast. Sorry, I just came, I'm just, I think I came down with a cold this weekend. <laughs> Can you please bear with me? <laughs> I actually, um, I was listening to a podcast and they, there was somebody who was on there was like, oh, I make, you know, $500,000 from selling courses. And I was like, what the heck? I had never heard about that ever. And um, I started doing research and learning about this. And I was like, well, I need to add this to my business. So from there, I decided that, you know, hey, if I had a digital product or courses, I, if I have money coming in every month, that's going to give my business more stability. And so like I said, I started researching, researching and then I launched my own. So in 2018, I launched my first membership site. Then I launched a course at 990, it was 997, $997, about a thousand dollars. And it was my first course. The course went, went on to make over $250,000 and higher per year. The course actually was multiple courses I had. And then I eventually added group coaching, VIP days, consulting to my business. So I also created a sales funnel. So I was able to sell the 997 course on autopilot. And that's something that if you come back tomorrow, I'm going to talk about creating like an evergreen funnel and how to sell these digital products passively. So if that's something you want to do, let me know in the, in the comments and say, hey, I want to learn about passive income. And I'll explain to you what I mean by passive because it ain't 100% passive. Passive income requires that you put upfront work to get the system going. And so we'll talk more about that tomorrow, but that is what I did, okay? Now, let me tell you the reason why I did this. I, it really helped me because I had, I had, there was been periods of time throughout the past five years where I've had health problems. I had to take time off. I had to go help my family because they had issues going on. I had someone pass away in my family. I just had a lot throughout these years. And it's like, as a business owner, if I stop working, I don't want to stop making money. I want to still make money. So that's the reason why I added this to my business, because I wanted to continuously make money regardless of if I was able to help clients or not. So let me know if that is that something that resonates with you. If you're watching this, um, let me know if that resonates with you. And if that's something that you want in your business and in your life. Uh, let me know below. I'd like to know who found that. Is that something you want to add? Okay, Raina said passive income. Yes, good. All right, let me know if you want to know about the passive income, sales funnel stuff. You can comment below and let me know because um, I'll add more training on that tomorrow. Okay, 
So th that's the reason why I did it. It wasn't because, oh, I want to make passive income just because I'm, you know, I just, I'm lazy and I want to work. I like working. It's just if something happens, you know, let me know. Like if you're working in your business full time, like I'm, a, I'm the breadwinner. I got to make money for my family. That's how it works. And so if I if something happens to me and my money goes down, then my family gets affected. And I don't want that to happen. OK, so this is the reason why. I do this and I teach people who are really serious about building a long-term sustainable profitable business. I love helping people who want longevity in their business, not people who are fly by night because creating passive income streams is, is going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. So if you want to get rich quick, then I'm not for you and I'm not going to teach you that. I don't teach people how to get rich quick. I teach you how to build long-term money making um offers in your business that are long-term. I'm talking about having a business that 10 years from now, 20 years from now is still going to be here and you can sell it when you retire or you can pass it down to your children or your family or whatever you want to do with it. That's what I'm about. So I just want to be clear because some people who are into this passive income thing, they aren't serious business owners. They don't take things serious. And I just want to tell you right now, I know some of you will unfollow me because of this. And that's totally fine because I only want to work with people who are serious. Like I only want to help people who are serious and who want to create a real business that's sustainable and, and do quality work and really help people and make an impact in the world. Maybe you want to help teach people how to start a business. Maybe you want to help other women or stay-at-home moms. Or maybe you want to help people. You know, I some of my clients have chronic health problems and they come to me because they, they're like, Alma, I'm, I have a sickness. And I need to continuously like generate revenue. I can't take a break. Like I still got to pay my bills, right? If I'm going to be in treatments or I'm going to, I have to, I can't work for two weeks. And they come to me for that reason, because I help people build these business models that'll help you throughout life. So if something happens in your life, what, you know, and it's not just physical stuff, but what if you just, you feel depressed or you feel like something happens, you broke up a relationship or family issues, you just stress the heck out, you need a vacation and you don't want to work. You need to take two, three weeks off and you just want to just relax. That's the type of business I help people build for your mental health and your physical health. Okay, so just let me know, does that sound like something that you would like to have in your business? Let me know in the chat, in the comments. Okay, so when I did all these things, I was able to work less hours and still make six figures because I created these leveraged offers, okay? So I also created a value ladder in my business, a value ladder of different offers. And you can do the same thing within your own business to get your time back if that's what you wanna do. So basically I have multiple offers. I have multiple revenue streams within one business and all these revenue streams work together like a ladder, like a value ladder. So some people may just do the strategy session. Some people, I sell courses, I have group coaching and I have one-to-one -one services. So if someone's not a good fit for one-to-one, -one, I can just say, hey, I have a course, you could take it, self-study or a group coaching program. I have a mastermind. I have these different things for people at different areas of their business, okay? And this is through consulting courses, group coaching and premium one-to-one -one services. Now, when you start creating these things in your business, you can create premium one-to-one -one services, premium one-to-one. -one. So now you can take clients and charge $2,000 a month, $5,000 a month. You could decide, I'm only going to take a few clients because you have another revenue stream coming in your business. All right. So like I said, the main benefit is it allows you to become selective with the clients you take on. So when you add these other revenue streams in your business, you can... Um, just be like really picky. And I think you should be picky because you're going to be working closely with one-to-one -one clients. You want to get the right people. So, but the only thing about it, I want to tell you in order to do what I'm talking about, you need to have two things in your business. If you have a service-based business right now, you have clients, you need to streamline your services with, with the systems that I'm going to talk about tomorrow. And you need to outsource some of your one-to-one -one client work. Once you streamline your one-to-one -one service business, then you'll have free time and then you can start adding courses and more group uh, group offers, one-to-many offers, more leverage offers, okay? But if you're, if you're right, right now, if you're watching this, 
and you have clients that you're working with, maybe you do social media, maybe you do branding, web design, whatever it is that you do. If you have one-on-one -on -one clients, you can't, you're not going to have time because you're just working with your clients all the time. So you need to create systems, you need to create SOPs, you need to have training, you need to hire a really good assistant to help you with your client work. All right, so here's the deal. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a training where I'm going to break down this entire system, okay? And I'm going to show you how to add $100,000 of revenue in your service-based business and scale to multiple six figures. So make sure that you sign up to the link in the description of this video. There's a link you can click on, you can register for this training, and it's going to walk you through this entire process. I'm going to do, do this in more detail tomorrow, okay? So make sure you all come. If you're interested, comment below if you need the link, and uh, you can go into the comments as well, um, and or just get the grab that uh, description box. Okay, have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.